whistle for Boston. And we are underway. The Clippers coming off the line. Pierce missing his first jump shot. Doc Rivers wasn't quite sure how long he might go with the veteran. Said that he's in great shape here on this first Sunday in February. Jake Crowder. Well, a contested three. And also preening himself moving without the ball. Crowder misses his second three-point attempt. Now, I remember Boston will attempt a quite a few threes. The clock gets down on them a lot, but they do shoot a strong percentage. Blake Griffin back in the lineup and knocks down the sweet-looking mid-range jump shot. He missed 18 games after having right knee surgery in mid-December. When you look at Griffin, I remember now, he's only been back four games, but in the last two games, 29 points and 31 points. So it's there for him. Thomas launching from deep. Got it. Right over Paul Pierce. And he Here's Horford going to work. Crowder going to try his third three. Now one for three. And a oh, quick outlet. There it is. Griffin running the floor and gets it to go. Well, that, that's nice that it was... Rivers was looking for the call on Johnson. Won't get it. And here's Isaiah Thomas. The stare down three. Wet. Remember what we say now. He's a quick shooter. And a good defensive sequence for the Celtics that time. He's got to stop the ball now. Here's Thomas working against Austin Rivers. Nice kick out and fine to Amir Johnson. He had all day to tee it up. But the difference now, Mark, come on. That, that, that's their 8-3. All right, their fourth make. And they're getting easy looks. Why? Because they can get into the painted area, make things happen, make the defense collapse. At the other end, we're not seeing that. At the other end, Blake Griffin knocking down the mid-range jump shot. He has improved his perimeter jumper over the last couple of years, working with their former shooting coach, Bob Tate. Thomas, a long two. Boy, he's in a nice rhythm. Yes, he is. And no doubt, six foot ten. Al Horford missing from downtown. Griffin again up court. Ray Felton from the corner, nice. and he finds the mark. Now you Jamal Crawford. Now this is the guy that's got to get going. You know, three times six man of the year. Always shoots a good percentage. Nice pass inside for the layup for Balmute. Giving up 123 points a game, and they're two and four. So there's a reason for that. Now, now Paul, Chris Paul, he controls the tempo of the game, shoots a high percentage, gets guys the ball. Green with a nice extra pass to Rozier. He missed everything. Now you gotta get a gotta get a hoop here now. You got a four on three. Good find by Crawford to Felton. Nice. You have to take advantage every ice. He has now scored 24 straight games, making a three-point shot. That is big for a man six foot ten as a backup center. And Marcus Smart, meanwhile, at the other end for the Celtics. Rise up into that third round. Well, the defense of the second unit, the production of the second unit, has got to be consistent. Yeah, that's one of the keys for Brad Stevens. Baseline jumper good by Johnson, who makes it a ten-point game again. Look, as crazy as the game was Friday night that you and I did with the L.A. Lakers, they were right there at the end. They got down seven inside of a minute. They get four wide-open threes, could have taken it to four, and unfortunately it didn't go down. They will let you back. Just keep working. That's how L.A. stood a chance at the end. Johnson, again, this one, the corner three is true, and it's a seven-point game. Well, what's Rep going the corner to Horford. Faces up against his former Gator alumni, Mo Spates. Uh, gets it to fall. And that's one of his pet moves. From that right side, he'll back you down, back you down. You think he's trying for the lane? No, he's going to come right back with that push baby or Had a chance to speak with his father, Tito Horford, former NBA player who's in town watching his son play. Seven on the shot clock for Crawford. That's a mismatch against Jarebko. Putting him in the blender. And knocks hey, down the uh, jump shot. Now also, if they're going to... Jarebko out front. Boston looking for its seventh consecutive win. They've been red hot oh, over the last month and a half. Move. Brown and one. Very pretty move. Pretty. The six foot seven young guy. Remember, only played one year at Cal. Offered out top. Good help by Jarebko. Blake Griffin with a mismatch. Cross court to Felton for three. Nice. 
Oh, now you say, what about Felton? Well, Felton, that's his third field goal. And then also the fact you'll get going once Crawford and Reddick get hot because they're one for ten between the two of them. Felton has eight points. Here's Horford from deep. Jordan clears it. The first down by nine. Blake Griffin going to work here on Jarebko. Left it short. So he doesn't have to hop. He doesn't have to hop coming back off that knee surgery. Felton had his back, though, and gets the layup. Well, we know Felton can score. He could score coming out of North Carolina, won an NCAA championship. Every team he's been with, you give him the minutes in that, he can score the ball. Crowder had it knocked away by Crawford. Crawford wide open down court. Nice pass. For three. Got it. There you go. He started it at the defensive end and finished it with the rainbow three. And that's a big matchup. Smart and Reddick. Griffin. And Jordan chasing down the loose ball rebound. As Crawford wide open steps inside the three-point line and takes the two. Now, that was a great pass, but more important. Quiet quarter for Isaiah Thomas. That time short. And Felton. The chance to make it a two point yeah, game. This, in a is, rush. this is what you need. Nice. Griffin took the contact and gets it to fall and really wanted to call that time. I he wanted to see them get the ball to Ray Felt. Come on, he's 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 a, a point guard, always has been. Get in the middle of the floor on the break and make things happen. Well, a great pass by Isaiah Thomas back to a wide open Al Horford with a concussion. But a big part of what they'll do moving forward. Here's Crawford. That's just tough to guard, Coach. Oh, no, come on. You become a fan no, when you watch No, no I've, I've been a fan of his for years. Of course, Crawford said he won. <laughs> Thomas, I hope. <laughs> Crowder from the... There you go. Just come on. Oh, oh, man. Turn it over. You never pass the ball on the same plane. You look what happened. See, you have it. You never pass it on the same plane we made right ahead of you in the middle of the floor. Why? The defense is going back there. And then you have two great defenders out there in Crowder and Smart right now. They play the passing lanes really well. The law for Jordan couldn't get a handle on it. And back comes Boston. Thomas left open from downtown. Splat down. And the big thing right now is you cannot let them. It'll be Clipper ball. Now you can make a catch here and shoot. Now that play was run perfectly. They ran Griffith to the ball and then the deception in the middle of the lane. Griffith. Pretty. Perfect pretty. inbound play. Not allowed. Reddick looking inside to Griffin. And uh, great anticipation by Jay Crowder. Beautiful. Who gets the layup at the other end. He read that well. Uh, where were and he played that. Now, that's two excellent steals for him today in the lane. Reddick forced to put it on the deck and banks it home. That time he escaped Jalen Brown, who was chasing off those screens. Uh, he's been a terrific shooter uh, ever since he's come out of college and, and learned the pro game. Plus the fact, remember now, he's a 44% three-point shooter, one of the best in the league every year. And give him an open look. Thomas, nice time inside to Johnson. And five assists for Isaiah Thomas. Horford one-on-one -on -one against Bob Mute, a good defender. Nice. Extra pass by Thomas, and another assist by Thomas to Brown. Five a game. That is a big number. Signed as a free agent with the Celtics in the July period. Blake Griffin with the 18-foot jump shot. Close the gap here and, and stay within striking range. Total of just five points between those two. Al Horford to the corner. Crowder not shy. Not at all with good reason. Crowder shooting to stay right. Whoa, 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 whoa. A lot whoa. of contact. Whoa. Felton took a shoulder in the chest. Well, I know the old story. Well, you know, that, that was a flop. That's the first one we've seen all day. <laughs> the first one. You see Reddick that he's working and he's open. He's having a tough time today. Blake Griffin. Yeah, well, you alluded to the fact he doesn't have that lift yet. You can see he tried to dunk it, and the ball hit the bottom of the rim. Thomas with the extra pass again to Smart this time, and a wise decision, making like his buddy Tom Brady with the Smart pass and decision. Crawford for three and quiets the crowd. I, I, that was just a win in control right now. We lead by 10. 
Austin doing it with the three ball this afternoon. As I say, three ball, Al Horford knocks down another one. They've shot 40 now, folks, and made 13. Well, Al Horford attempts four a game, and uh, they, they want him to do that. He shoots a solid percentage, plus he puts tremendous pressure on your center, who's back down inside low to come out of that area. And Jordan being such a shot blocker, you know, he doesn't want to leave the painted area. Reddick off the handoff, finally got loose. Knocked down just his second field goal. Most of those close range shots. That's 13 on the day. Rozier with the drive and kick. And Rose Smart with the finish. Switch, Reddick on him. That's no, con no, no contest. And when he posts up, 99 out of 100 times, the guy's not going to front you down in there. And he's smaller. He stays behind you. It's like no one's there. You might cut you shoot a ton of them, but if they shoot a third, all right, and this is the perfect stat here, 50% would have been 21 for 42 if it was a two ball, but an outstanding ball club. There's Isaiah Thomas, hesitates on space, got to the bucket, and cashes in. That was That's great. Dude. Spates had a little extra bounce in his step when he got to the arena this morning. Thomas off the screen from Olenek. Kept his dribble alive and got the layup. How he gets to the bucket, coach, is amazing. Well, another, a couple of years ago, a few years ago, and the crowd here has really embraced him. And he has played extremely well. Going to his second consecutive All-Star game. Another Seattle guy. Breathes the game. Isaiah Thomas up court. Celtic still with an eight-point lead. Brown took oh, the hit. Oh, Went off glass to finish. Remember we told you? They like what he contributes yeah. is here with that second unit. Excellent defender, rebounder, and he can make the plays for you offensively. Marcus Smart from deep. Why not? See what I mean? The last two field goals. Come on. Yeah. Passing with it, but couldn't finish on the scoop. Yeah, I, I'm surprised he didn't bank that in because usually that's what he'll do from that angle. Just from that angle. The kick out to a wide open Horford. Oh! And another splashdown for the Celtics from deep. Horford and Griffin battling. Advantage Griffin on that sequence, running the floor well. Oh, pretty. Blake punches it home. Great sequence at both ends for Blake Griffin. Games, and you say, wait, last year didn't he play with Golden State? Yes, he averaged seven points. Now, ten, getting more minutes. Good active hands by Austin Rivers, but Thomas oh. got all the way to the cup. See, that's him. He had a love it. Come on, he made that look easy. Hit the basket. And one last look at Pierce. California began his career and played 15 years here in Boston and if you ask him he'll always bleed Celtic green oh come on An appropriate ending for Paul Pierce